Hello and welcome back everyone to a beautiful day 47 of this apocalypse. Tomorrow is Horde Night and I am kind of excited but a little bit worried. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to head off really quickly to Rex and I'm going to see if he has the quest for our Restore Power Horde Night. If he does not. Um, well, we have tomorrow, I guess. But I'm starting to get a little bit nervous that we're not going to get the same Restore Power quest. I am pretty determined to only do that one in that sort of Horde Night because I just, I planned it out, right? I planned it out and I'm sure of it. If I have to try out a different... What is that? Stand by, stand by. I'm probably going to crash. Oh, it's just a little wolf. Okay, it's not even a big wolf. It's just a baby one. Nothing to worry about. But yes, I am pretty determined to only try that one out. If I have to try out another one, I suppose it's not the end of the world. Hello. <gasps> okay, okay. We have three options. This could be it. This could be it. Restore power. House modern. That's not the one. That's not the one. Housing development one. That is also not the one. Although maybe this one's not so bad. We'll look at it tonight, just in case. And what's the third one? Listen Give it to me. Jackass, you won't House work. Modern Show 23. Uh, that's not the one. That is not the I one. Like you. you know what? Let's go check out the housing development. Fuck this up. I can't oh, imagine the house ones would be easy. Fruit. And yes, we're not going to do it right now. We should probably go do another quest. Just I should probably buy some stuff later. Here. That's okay. How dare you, Wrecked? Like, how dare you actually? This one's the one that I want the help sign. We already planned it out, like, in our heads. It's the one. But you know what? Yeah, you never know. Maybe there is something to be said. Maybe maybe this one will be better. So let's go scout out a couple of other night... Uh, oh, no. Oh, this one won't be better. Oh, it's this little community here. We've been here before in the wasteland, but regardless, we've been here before. And this is not going to be good for a horde night. I can already tell. There's no way this restore power stuff is not just, like, out in the yard somewhere. Like, at best, they'll be up in one of these houses that are made out of wood. Mm-mm. No, 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 no. Thank you, but no. Okay, well, I suppose we could go check the houses. You know what? This is gonna bother me. Come on, wolfie boy. I am so sorry. It had to get done. And now I have some extra meat. Let's see which house we need to go see. Okay, the restore power in this house modern 18. It's the mansion. Uh, I remember where the restore power was in this house and it was like all the way at the bottom. This is not going to be a good Hort night either. Not a good location at all. Our last hope is this one. House modern 26. Let's see what it looks like. All right, this looks promising. Our last hope, basically. And if not, we're going to have to just kind of pray for a little bit better luck tomorrow. So, let's see. Have I been here before? I do not know. This looks like every house that I make in The Sims. <laughs> just QB. I'm not going to start it, obviously, because you can't start it right now. But it seems like if it starts back here, then, yep, yeah, we start the house here. I'm just gonna go check it out. You never know. This could be a good location. I mean, it's got like a really nice entrance, so... It could be doable. I'll just keep it in mind, you know? Unless we get that one tomorrow. Okay, nothing here. We got a little bit of books. I will never say... It's just paper. It's not books. It's just paper. I've never been to this house. It's a beautiful house. Really modern. Really living up to its name. We could go through here. Oh, yeah, because of the light. Smart. Uh, what else? What else? I mean, I could jump down. Let's go check out here. There's a little backpack. Oh, there's something up here, too. What? Oh, this is cool. I already love this place. Come on, zombies. <laughs> Come get a little boomed. One more. Oh, two more. <laughs> I love this shotgun. I should be shotgun spec more. It fulfills me. What do we have here? Oh, let me turn off my light because it's already lit up. It's so cool. 
By the way, please, Fun Pimps, please let us light up stuff like this. I know that there's fixtures in the game that we can put in our houses, right? But we cannot power them up. I don't know what it is. I don't know if there's like a special command that will allow you to power them up. I don't know. But you cannot power up any, well, any lights that you can't really craft. So like the chandeliers and stuff, you can't power them up and they look so cool. Or like these little table lamps. Like wouldn't it be nice to be putting the little table uh, that you can craft with the lamp and the lamp lights up? Oh, that would just be amazing. What did I... What is that? I have no clue what I unlocked. I just have to keep going down. Maybe it was something down here. Nice. A sink. Oh, and it goes further down. Interesting. I have yet to see this thing. Where are you, zombies? You gotta be here somewhere. <gasps> this kitchen is amazing! Well, and I need kitchen stuff, so that also quite helps. But this kitchen is so cool. Look at it all. Oh, well. Burnt meat, but... Otherwise, sick kitchen. Uh, lots of zombies from the outside. It should be relatively safe, though, in here. So we're just going to continue for now. Cool, we have some study over here off the side of the kitchen. Yeah, like these lamps, too. You can't power those up. <gasps> There's another key. What the hell did I just open? Hello. <laughs> Goodbye. <gasps> What are these? Wouldn't it be cool if these were like... I did not expect that. I don't know why I half expected it to be something incredible. Going downwards. I heard a garage open. So maybe that's what we unlocked. No, these are locked. I'm trying not to open any doors that are locked just in case. You know, that was like a special thing. Uh, oh, through here, through here. <gasps> yes, yes, yes. These are still locked. But we're going down. Down, down, down. I can't imagine this will be a good horde base. There's no way. Anybody else? Just that guy? This room is... eerie. Why is there just a guard here in an empty room with a carpet? What in the hell is this? I'm just so thoroughly confused. <gasps> okay, that's one of the doors. That's another... Yes! See, those panels were a weird thing. Just wasn't up there. <laughs> oh, they were... They were so cool, though. Oh, look, look, look. There's, like, a basement area here. What is this house? I am just so... Like, horrified and impressed at the same time. Oh, no. Oh, no. Those are bad zombies. Very bad zombies. Very many. Bad zombies coming up. Did I get him? I don't know, just in case. <gasps> the camera. Why is there a camera here? What the hell is this place? I... What is this? It's like a secret facility. The light's on. That's good. Goodbye. Alright. Alright. Here's where they had food. Oh! What in the world? By the way, I hate that. I hate that, I hate that. I hate it whenever they trigger when you pass a certain threshold. Because that means that you can't stealth through this building. Not usually in 100%, you know? There's always things that will trigger. No matter what. What is this? Wow, 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 wow. All right. Huh. What about here? No. Oh, no way. No way. This is the way! It's through here! Oh, that's so cool! Okay, the layout of this house has been... ...incredible. I'm a little bit worried, though. I'm a little bit scared. This has been so amazing. I don't even... 
How do I explain how awesome the little puzzles in, in the later layout has been here? Ooh. Metal key rack. All right. Very nice. That was clear. That was clear. And what about... What about the other way, though? <gasps> no way! Oh, yes! You can get through here! Oh, sickest! All right, good, good papaya there. I really needed that. Wow, these are a, lo are a lot of beds. I don't know if I can just pass this up. That's a lot of springs, and springs are boom boom potential. So, um, just stand by. I'm gonna gather these really quickly. Oh, a jacket. I needed that. Oh, another one of these. What in the world? Oh, I love this place. I'm home. I'm... What? Double? Can I double her? No. I shouldn't have even tried. Woo! Sorry. I wasn't ready for that. Okay, what about these? Okay, those are not it. It's good to know. It's good to know your limitations. Uh, how do I get out from here, though? What else? What's next? Let's grab this. What about this one? Yeah, sometimes these break, and sometimes they don't. So that's very weird. <gasps> yes, okay. Another secret passage. Wait, am I going backwards? I don't know. I don't know. <gasps> no, 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 I'm not. I'm not. This is the same spot. Or any... Why did they disappear? Oh, they're going to activate when I get close. Yeah, 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 yeah. They were right here. They were on the ground. Yeah. Okay. Okay, we wait back here. Wait, which way are they coming? Guys, I'm I'm right here. Right, they're coming through the other side now. Holy, there's a lot of them here. Ooh, that sprite. Got him. Oh, cool. It's supposed to look like some... Some experimental water. I don't know, some biohazard water. Oh, that's amazing. Then there's this thing here. The little machines, of course. All the loot. Don't think I haven't seen the loot. I'm just in awe of everything else. Let's crack open the boxes. We have three different types, as is particularly usual in these kind of things. Repair kits, I will take. Uh, I really like the Mega Crush, although I don't use it as much as I should, I'll be honest. And we have some new items. All right. Picking the luck. With some luck, it will be something... Good. One of these days, I'm gonna run out of lockpicks. I'm sure of it. I don't know what I'll do that day. Okay, all right. Iron sledgehammer. I'll be honest, not the craziest thing I've ever seen. I'll scrap this. I'll move that in there. Modify you. Maybe we can sell it with that, which would be extra, extra money. And just in general, I mean, that's just good cash. This place has been an unexpected surprise. But freaking cool. Wait a minute. No. <gasps> what is this? Deceptively simple is what I would call this place. What a good, good place to visit. If you haven't been to this house, you have to. You have to. It's an experience that I don't think I can adequately express. I'm just in awe. It's just all the paths, all the ways. Oh. The layout, the, the little trickery. Boom. 
so many switches, too. I'll be honest with you guys, I wouldn't even be able to tell you right now where the restore power was. I simply have no idea. Oh, a chicken! <laughs> Freaking cool AF house. Honestly, one of the best homes I've ever been to in this game. But unfortunately, a terrible location for our Horde Night. <laughs> this restore power Horde Night is not happening. I suppose I could run it again tonight if I really wanted to. But, I mean, I just... Uh, I can't imagine the location would be good in it. I just... I cannot. I cannot. It's such a windy place. I mean, I would have... Uh, maybe if the restore power goes, like, directly down and I could just break through a couple doors and make it through. But during Horde Night, we just don't have time for that. We have no time at all. So, I think what I'll do... What I'll do is I'll go cancel this quest. And then maybe go do some stuff around the house while I still have some time. And then tomorrow we have to hope and pray that it gives me that other house. Or that other hotel, motel, whatever. That apartment. <laughs> if it gives me that... Then I'll be good to go and we could do the Horde Night there. If not, then maybe we should at least try to fix this Horde base so that, you know, it is a possibility. It is a backup. Whee! <laughs> and part two. Awesome. All right. Time to refuel all these suckers. I'm gonna grab some of this that's already made. You know what? Let's put this in the output. This is such a mess. I know, guys. I have to organize my boxes, but today is not the day. Put the rest of this in here, of course. And I'm hoping that that will give me a lot more Forge Steel. But we're looking good with the amount of Forge Steel that we have right now. I mean, it's certainly enough to upgrade the Horde base. So we don't have to worry about Demolishers, you know, moving forward into the future. All right, as far as Concrete Mix go, I'm going to put 2k more here. Maybe another... I don't know. Let's put the rest in there. I don't remember if I made another one. I'm going to need to make another one of these. But uh, so far, so good with making some of it. I think I'm going to also make... Uh, well, let's just make one more stack of crushed sand. Maybe even two. I know it seems like a lot, but it's not. I grabbed a ton of the cobblestone, and now I'm going to go check up here. Because I need oil. Yes, these dump boxes have not been fully cleared. And eventually, they will be. It's just a matter of time. But there's gotta be oil out here. Yes, yes. Oh, here it is. Another crucible. <laughs> Some switches. We might need those. You never know. Look. Oh, there's all my bullet tips. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, we're very organized. We're very organized around these parts. Well, at least those were cleared. No, no, no. no. Not as bad as I thought. Well. Um... It could be worse. Got it. Uh, sorry, ammo. Just really quickly, stand by. Ah, uh, should we make different kinds? No, no, no. 762, all the way. Just all the freaking way. Very good. And in two minutes, we'll have another trap. We also have another blade trap. And I don't think I can go for another one because... Well, you know what? Iron spikes would be really, really nice. Let's go ahead and make... I don't know. I can only make six? Oh. <laughs> I need more fortune iron, but we'll put those to make anyway. Cool, cool, cool. Now that we're back up, the first thing I wanted to put down is the electrical fence post. But I'm not quite sure where. I mean, seriously, on in front of this, it would be like a no-brainer, right? You just put them right there, they'll get sliced up for longer. So that'd be kind of cool. But I was also thinking, what if we put them... Oh, I wish this was lower, but it can't be lower. I mean, it can. But I would have to, uh, I, I would have to rethink this whole base and I didn't, I didn't think about it that way. But I could flip this backwards here and make it come down right there where they're going over the little ladder. You know what? I'm gonna do it. The idea would be to do something like this. Okay, flip it down. And so it would be as soon as they're coming up the ladder. So yeah, we're gonna continue this. I, I think this might have been the way to go all along, and I just didn't think of it at the time. But I think it's fine, it's fine. We'll fix this so it doesn't look detached. Oop. There we go. I am pleased, I am pleased. I think this is it. I think this is exactly what I wanted. And that will cover all of that. Oh, sweet. I mean, it doesn't have one here at the main path, but I think that's okay. That's all right. 
And now the darts situation. This is going to be the most complicated part because I'm not quite sure exactly how I want to put the darts here. I mean, originally, uh, I suppose I was happy with it being like maybe one on each side, but then I kind of changed my mind on that, didn't I, at some point. Uh, so I'm not 100% sure. I've also never tested it out with that right there. The punt turret. Okay, I'll put dart trap number two right there. Oh, and we should probably make some stairs here. Just like we did on the other side. Just so they're, you know, kind of even, kind of complete. I like the look of that. Alright, I came down to make darts. I think that's probably a good idea. And I'm gonna pause this one. Yep, just to put that over there. Gonna give it a reason to exist. There's also a bit of iron here, which I will start burning there, and it is officially nighttime. The day is just getting away from me. But I've been getting a lot of stuff done, and look at all of this. We have so much product to work with. So I'm gonna get back up there, I'm gonna get going, and we are going to get this horde base in shape. Just in case, you know, just in case. Okay. Well, well, well. I am fairly pleased with that. Now, the next step is to put this blade trap down, but I also want to connect these. And to connect these, it's super simple if you've never connected them before. You just pick one of the sides, so I'll pick this one. And you connect one to one, basically, right? So, like, that one to that one. You'll see the blue line. And you have to do that with every single one. Okay, coming out here. This is dangerous, treacherous work right here. And I think I will put a little frame, yep, just to get myself up there. And the plan is simple. Uh, yes, simple. I'll put this blade trap in here somewhere. I think they usually come from this side a lot more for some reason. I can't really explain why, it's just a thing that has happened. So I'll just do that. And then over here, I will put the camera. Now I've decided, I think, that I want two cameras. One for the blade traps, and one for the electrical fence posts. Why do I want to separate them? Good question. I... don't know. <laughs> yeah, I, I, there's no reason. I suppose the reason is why not. Why am I doing this? Well, it's a little bit more support, I suppose, for the ceiling. But that's not really why I'm doing it. I'm just trying to hide them a little bit. And make this just slightly better. I have to really quickly see if I can connect them, though, from here. I can. Can I? No. I'm gonna add some shutters here to the sides, which is why I'm making some. Because I couldn't connect it. Uh, which is why I'm concerned that this won't see through it. But you have to believe. You have to believe. Okay. So I'm gonna connect this camera to... I suppose I'll do this one for the blade traps. And it's going to look a little bit sheet. Yeah, see, I can't connect it from there. That's scary. We'll do that one to that one. That one to that one. I'm basically rewiring everything. There is a mod, by the way, where I believe you don't see these wires at all. So it looks really, really cool. Hello, good morning. Configuring the cameras should be fairly easy. You just make it target zombies. Not target allies, not target self, of course. Power delay to instant, and then also I would have it be a little bit longer than the power duration. Because, you know, you don't want it to just trigger and then not reactivate again. So I would just put like five seconds. You know, so they have time to be shocked. Maybe, maybe even more. I don't know. Like once it's on, it's on. Yeah, that's basically what I'm going for. So we'll go with that one. Put it for like seven seconds. That should be good. And you can also do these on gates, which is usually what I would do. So we'll do that one. We'll do instant, of course. And I'll also give it a little bit of a leeway there. I could reset the preview, but yeah, you can see you need to have it powered. So let's go power it. Holy crap. I think I got it to work. I mean, I'm not 100% sure. We're going to have to test it out. Hopefully there's a zombie somewhere here. But I think I did it. Oh, it is a mess. It is an absolute disastrous mess. But it's here. It looks okay-ish. Now, if you'll note, the cable situation is a bit problematic. But I had to resort to some, um, shall we call it godly ways uh, to be able to connect that camera over there or those cameras 
to this relay. I had to add the relay because this switches were way too far. And also there's like all the walls and stuff in between them. It was a disaster. So I am going to assume that you know how to connect cables. Otherwise, let me know. I'll give you a tutorial if you want. But as you can see, it's a bit of a mess. So basically what I did is I connected the cameras to the relays and the relays to the power. And I've also connected either the cameras to the device, which is what I did with the blade traps, or the relay to the device, which is what I did over here with the electrical traps. We'll see which one works, or we'll see if they both work. It's hard to say. But these should all be on. Very nice. I don't know if I have enough power. Uh, yes. Yes, I, I definitely do. Well, for the time being, that is. Might need to get a couple more generators if I have to. I didn't get to actually upgrade the rest of the base because I got so distracted doing that. But hopefully there'll be like at least one zombie here. Come on. There's got to be at least one of you in here that respawned. Yes. Oh, oh crap. Well, uh, I don't want to kill them. I want them to follow me. Yes, yes, yes. Come with me. <laughs> Let's go for a little walk. Follow me, follow me. Do not lose me, please. We're going to take a little stroll up this little staircase. Hopefully I don't lose the other guy. Just in case this one dies for whatever reason, you know? You never know. Let's walk up here, shall we? Okay, that one already lost me, sort of. All right, that's not good. That's not good. That means the camera already identified the zombie. But in a way... You know what? I'm gonna do it. Oh, this is so dumb. It worked. <laughs> oh my god. Regrettable. But it worked. Oh, I am getting shook it. Okay, okay, we have to fix this. I think the reason why I was getting shocked, though, even though there's no zombies, is because I connected the device to the relay, which I shouldn't have. I should have connected it straight to the camera. So always connect your devices to the camera and then connect the camera to the relay and then the, from the relay to the light switch and from the light switch to the generator, if that makes any freaking sense at all. He has a restore power. It is 229 meters south. That has to be it. That has to be it. I don't like you. Shit! It's not. Oh. something for me. Oh no. House modern 18. Well, good luck. Crap. Crap, crap, crap. Well, 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 that's the only option. We'll check it out next time. It might be the place that we went to. Nope, it's not. It's the old mansion. Oh, okay. Well, let me take a look, all right? Tomorrow we'll take a look, or today rather, whatever. Next episode, we'll take a look and we'll see if this is even possible for Fortnite. But I mean, ideally, we want this location. We already scattered it out. We know it's good. We know it works. This is the one that we need for our triumph. Otherwise, we might spend the Horde night at home. You never know. I have a lot of stuff to upgrade it, and it would be cool to see how the electrical traps and all of that works out. But thank you again for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I hope to see you guys on the next one for the Horde. Until then, bye.